The rise in northern lights displays doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. So if you didn't get an opportunity to see it in Western New York last week, your chances are high to see it again, not only soon, but over the next couple of years. And that's because the sun is in its solar maximum cycle and it may be locked in place through March of 2026. During the sun's natural 11 year cycle, the sun shifts from relatively calm to stormy, then back again at its most active, called the solar maximum, the sun is freckled with sunspots. This activity sparks coronal mass ejections, which are explosions of plasma and magnetic material shooting out of the sun. When they hit Earth's magnetic field, currents send particles flowing to the north and south poles, and that's what causes the northern lights to appear in our skies. The stronger the geomagnetic storm, the further south the phenomenon is visible, and that's why we can now see them in western New York. The Space Weather Prediction Center keeps a close eye on active regions of the sun. Once the coronal mass ejections reach about 1 million miles from Earth, scientists can take much more accurate measurements and make good predictions when the aurora may be seen. A good display may last between 15 and 30 minutes, although on occasion it could extend to a couple of hours or even longer. It's important to be in a dark, open place with clear to partly cloudy sky conditions. The peak of this solar maximum cycle is predicted to happen sometime between now and March of 2026. So if you didn't get a chance to see the Northern Lights displays, it's most likely you'll have an opportunity to see it again. Mary Beth Robel, 7 News.